I'm Walter Scott, founder of Digital Globe, and we had a big data problem. Actually, it was an enormous data problem, and Amazon Web Services was the answer. From 400 miles above, our constellation of five satellites captures Earth imagery with incredible resolution and accuracy. It powers some of the world's most widely used mapping and location-enabled applications. It lets first responders reach survivors and distribute aid in the aftermath of natural disasters. And it's fueling a new era of global transparency, enabling critical decisions to be made with confidence. But we're talking here about big, heavy data. This time-lapse image library that we've amassed over the past two decades is 100 petabytes of data, and it's growing at 10 petabytes every year. So to deal with this, we built our own IT infrastructure. But that meant that our 100 petabytes of data was in jail. Our customers couldn't get access to it. And after all, who wants to be moving around petabytes of data, and who has the compute resources to do analytics on that data at massive scale? The answer is Amazon Web Services. Rather than bringing the data to our customers, we're moving the data to the cloud. And that gives them access to the elastic cloud computing resources available with Amazon Web Services. But how do we get the 100 petabytes of data that we've collected into the Amazon cloud? To move this over a typical 50 megabit broadband connection would take 484 years? So that's why we're one of the first customers for Amazon Web Services 80 terabyte snowballs. But remember, our image library is 100 petabytes. And that's a lot of snowballs. We need a bigger snowball, one that you can see from space. This is the Amazon Web Services snowmobile, the world's fastest and most cost-effective data transfer solution. Digital Globe is thrilled to be the first customer for this amazing data transfer solution. With our data now in the cloud, we can unlock its true potential. We built our geospatial big data platform called GBDX on top of Amazon Web Services to let our customers tap into the digital globe and answer complex questions at global scale. GBDX uses crowdsourcing and machine learning to map and attribute the 15 million structures in Australia for a customer in the insurance industry. It's being used to monitor metrics, such as national manufacturing output for the financial services industry. It's being used to develop an air traffic management system for drones, and it's being used to detect vulnerable populations in the developing world. A growing ecosystem of geospatial content producers and consumers now have easy access to the world's largest, highest quality commercial satellite imagery library. So what problems can Digital Globe help you solve with GBDX?